So we've seen how waves can speed up or slow down if they enter a different material with a different density. And this effect is called refraction. And the speeding up or slowing down of these waves as they travel through the new medium, as it's called, means that they may change direction because of that change in speed. Now refraction also occurs for water waves when water waves move between shallower or deeper water. And in the case of water waves, they travel faster in deeper water. So here's a, a diagram showing some water waves which are traveling to the right. And we're looking down at these wave fronts, the peaks of, of the waves as they travel to the right, as if we were a bird looking down at a, a sea or a lake. And they're traveling into some deep water. So which way will they refract? I'd like to show you a little uh, trick to try and remember how to do this. I call it Arnar. I know it's a bit silly, but uh, it seems to be memorable to most people. So uh, see how you go with this. So the first step is R. And R stands for ray. We need to draw the ray which is partially drawn here, but completely up to the point where it touches the boundary. So here's the boundary or the surface. And so let's take a look at that ray. Here it is. That's the ray, first step. The second step is the most important, and that's to draw the normal line. And the normal line is a line which is at right angles to the boundary. We take a look at that, it looks a bit like this. And there we are, it's at right angles to the boundary, at the point where the ray hits the boundary. That's the second step. The third step is to check your angle of incidence. Now, this ray, this incoming ray, is called the incident ray. So the angle of incidence is between the normal line and the incident ray. It's always between the normal line and the ray. And so here is the angle of incidence, which we'll label I. So I equals the angle of incidence. Great. What now? Now the last R stands for refraction. We need to use a little mnemonic, if you like, to uh, remember how refraction works. And I use speed away. Speed away. If the wave speeds up as it goes into the new area, then it will move, it will bend away from the normal line. So in this case, we are speeding, speeding up as we go into the, into the new uh, region. And so we're going to speed away from the normal line. We're going to bend away from the normal line and we're going to look something like that. So this will look, there's our refracted ray. Can you put that down there, refracted ray. Now I know it's not a ray as in light, it's just the direction of the wave. So what will the wave fronts look like? The wave fronts are always at 90 degrees to the ray. So the wave fronts will have bent upwards. And you can see they're at 90 degrees there and there. And there we have it. So that's the refraction that's occurred here as the waves have moved from shallow water into deeper water because they've they've got faster. And you can kind of see they've got faster because the wavelength has increased. As this wave enters, it starts to speed up and it moves further along than this wave here, which hasn't yet entered. And so that's why it's moved around. So remember R-NAR, Ray, draw your normal. Do use a ruler, by the way. Really, really important. Angle of incidence and then use speed away to work out what happens for refraction. One thing I haven't mentioned here 
which will be useful for the future is the angle of refraction. Now that's the angle between the refracted ray and the normal line. So it's similar to the angle of incidence, except it's on the other side. And so here is the angle of refraction, which I'll label R. R equals the angle of refraction. I know we haven't used these angles here, but we will do in later flashcards. Hope that helps. See you in the next flashcard.